I'm Moses Ludell, the editor and publisher at 4WD Mechanics Magazine and the author of the Jeep Owner's Bible, the Jeep CJ Rebuilder's Manuals, and three other automotive truck books. I've been a welder for 42 years. I've welded professionally, in construction, in the automotive field, machine and custom welding work, and I've been an instructor of welding at the adult education level. We're about to start a welding class. This is open enrollment, no tuition, and I would like to invite everyone to join. I'd like to begin by taking you on a tour of my shop and my welding studio to describe the various welding processes that we'll cover in this course. I'd also like to begin by thanking the sponsors of the welding section at 4WD Mechanics Magazine, HTP America, and Weld Mold Company. This welding and cutting equipment has been with me for many years and it still serves well. In sequence, the next phase of welding that we'll deal with will be stick welding. Many of you may have a buzz box that works just fine in your shop. We're very fortunate in our shop to have HTP America's 221 TIG and stick welding equipment Compact in size, the HTP 221 inverter TIG and stick welding machine will perform a variety of tasks. My Hobart Beta Make 170 machine has been with me since the mid 1990s. I've been involved in a number of magazine projects and book projects, frame and motor mount fabrication, and a whole variety of chores. This machine works well to this day as a peacemaker gun and I'm able to get all of the perishable replacement parts for it from HTP America. TIG welding is at the pinnacle of our welding processes. TIG welding is best known for its use in aluminum and aircraft welding and welding of special alloys. TIG welding is uh, in process very similar to our original oxyacetylene welding. The HTP 221 machine is the ideal TIG power source for aluminum welding, steel, and alloys. Welding and fabrication is not just about the processes of welding, but also about the careful selection of filler materials. When I'm welding cast iron, alloys, low carbon, and high carbon metals, Weld Mold Company has the niche materials. Alloy and casting repairs are possible with both TIG, stick, and even MIG process. In some cases we can even use oxyacetylene welding. The key here is the use of the right materials for the welding process. So again, you don't need a lot of space and you can spend your money wisely on key pieces of equipment We'll begin with oxyacetylene welding and cutting. Here you'll learn how to handle metals. You'll learn something about metallurgy and how to control a puddle of molten metal. We'll also cover the brazing processes, which can be very useful for niche repair work. We'll do a lot of hands-on projects along the way. Not only will that keep things lively, but you'll get a better sense for the niche use of the equipment and the various welding processes. So let's move on to lesson number one.